Alright, so today we back here again with my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worldwide giving this bitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm Dallas, Texas, straight from Chicago, man. My boy Kuzo, Texas Music Club. You know, right, no vibes. Man, it's you. So, what, what's up, man? You out in Dallas? What's going on? Uh, man, just, so, I just need different vibes to finish up my project, you know what I'm saying? From drop. Uh, probably like the longest, like, the most time I ever spent on a project, you know what I'm saying? Put the project from drop, called No Talking. You know what I'm saying? I just need a different vibe from Chicago. So, you know, finish it up and then just expand my network, expand my reach, trying to grow a bigger fan base outside of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, just, I'm Dallas right now enjoying the vibes. I fuck with it. I fuck with the weather, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, they up there freezing their ass. So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's, all, it's still love, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to shade Chicago. But it's just like, I'm enjoying, you know, being in Texas and some of this shit. I fuck with Dallas so far. Like, each time I came out here, it's like straight love. So I fuck with you know, Dallas a long way for sure. Man, hey, what's your wait? What's your project called again? It's called No Talking, man. No Talking, man. How, how you get that name? So it stemmed from like, uh, like just like a like a stroke of chance on some other. Uh, I was walking down the street. I walked to the studio in Chicago. With, I had a mask on though. This like during COVID and shit. I just took a picture of myself on Snapchat. You know, man, this shit raw. This shit look raw. Like the picture look raw. And I just. I be doing graphic design and shit, so I was just fucking around. I put the words, no talking over. I'm like, damn, I'm finna make this a project. So, but this during the time, like, we coming out of social distancing and all that shit. So the fact that I, like, chose to make that as a project, I feel like it's, like, just, like, I don't know, like, something that I given to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't, like, something I really thought up, but, like, it was something that I needed. Because not, like, the whole premise of the project going forward, and I start to think deeper, like, into it, like, I started thinking about like, right, my communication issues and like how it's fucking up my relationships with women. You know what I'm saying? And then like all traumatic shit that I ain't never spoke on type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like this is like probably like my most vulnerable project. You know what I'm saying? Just learning to be more open and sh you know share my my true story, my full story. You know what I'm saying? Everything that a nigga deal with just from being a, a black youth in Chicago to being an artist to uh, you know being a male trying to be in a relationship with women. And, you know what I'm saying? Like. So it's like, it's probably the most, even though the album is called No Talking, it's really more so about like, me realizing I need to get a lot of shit off my chest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that's like where it's, uh, but that's like the whole premise of the project, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, me noticing like, all right, I got it. So look though, this is like kind of deep story about me, like in terms of like why I start making music or why I take music serious. So I got an uncle that committed suicide, you know what I'm saying? And he was like the only person, like from a kid, to like support me making music type shit. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm growing and getting older, I know it's like, damn. If I'm, she not, he not the only person that I know committed suicide, but he the closest. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm seeing like these suicides in my life, I'm like, I started getting to the point where like, damn, at some point I was feeling suicide. I'm like, damn, why am I feeling this way? And I just started doing like more internal work because like, I realized like, I need to. More like just get certain shit off my chest, you know what I'm saying? Probably be more vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? Because it got, I got to a point where I ain't really give a fuck about myself or nobody else. So like the whole like no talking thing is about like the damage and effects of like we just internalizing a lot of you know trauma, a lot of bad experiences, you know what I'm saying? And just finding ways to just cleanse myself of the shit, of the energy, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the real shit. For sure, for sure, for sure. You said uh, this like the longest you spent on a project. Yeah, so yeah. How, how long you been working on it? Like the first song, so the intro to the project, like I recorded that song probably like in November of 2020. Like me, usually I could finish a project within like two weeks. Like that was a real shit. So this song is this, uh, they're like, that's like two years old on here. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the longest I've been like held on the music. You know what I'm saying? Cause I record every day, but like I said, this most the most vulnerable I've probably been being. So it was like some of the songs is hard for me to finish because like damn, I don't know if I'm really ready to talk about, you know, be public about some of the shit that I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, other artists, you know what I'm saying? There's a word of advice. If you feel like right, you got some shit you want to speak about in a song, you know what I'm saying? Just take your time with it, you know what I'm saying? So you get, you know, you got the best version of the true true version of yourself on the song, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it'd be working in the end, you know what I'm saying? But we live in the age like it's kinda like, you know, everything be 
fast pace. You just gotta continue to make content, but you gotta be able to like separate. All right, this is the content that I could make fast. This is the content that I gotta you know hold up on and make sure you know I sit on this and make sure I put it out the right way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. How many songs you got on it? <laughs> so it's three different parts. It's three volumes. Uh, so like I was talking earlier, like the first volume is like about love songs, like relationships. The second part is about like being an artist, and the third part is about this, like mental health shit. So it's like 41 songs in total. But it's broken up like, like I think like 14 and 13 and 14 type shit like that. Yeah. Well, are you going to release all 41 at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause look, after I dropped that shit, I ain't gonna lie. I done already recorded for my next, started recording for my next project. So I'm trying to get all the dollar vibes, you know, for this next project done. You know what I'm saying? I'm work on, you know, it's just going Nitro part three. But. Do you have any features on this one? Oh, hell yeah, it's uh, features from, uh, let me just go through the list. This, this feature is all too good. This is all Chicago motherfuckers and a couple of Atlanta people. Uh, I just don't want to forget nobody. I feel you on that. But yeah, uh, Made in Chicago, Women Mo, uh, She Go Cream. I uh, just she just signed to Bo Deal, Dale Hiller, like Chicago motherfuckers know, uh Stoner Pimpson, uh Mozzy Mantana, uh DB from, from from DC area, uh my boy Hemi D, B Y, Crazy, uh Gato from Atlanta, G Sinatra, uh C Stacks, Inglewood Boo, J Casino, um, a couple more that I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, finish right now, like, trying to get the pieces in, so, like, but, yeah, it's, a lot, it's like, a lot of pieces, you know what I'm saying, but probably, like, I think probably, like, 15 out of the 41 songs that features on, you know what I'm saying, so, I like doing this shit, I like collaborate, that's another reason I'm in Dallas right now, I'm trying to network and just collaborate with motherfuckers out here, so, that's how I like creating music, I like collaborating, I like working with other people, and just seeing, like, it's just more fun that way, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You open yourself up to different experiences, different mindsets and shit. It's just like, I feel like the bigger purpose of all this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. shit. Yeah, when you trying to drop? Like, February 11th. February 11th. I'm dropping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> February 11th, so this is just like, we we like two weeks out, less than two yeah, weeks. Yeah, like 10 days, 11 days from now. So, yeah, yeah. from when we recording this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a surprise how I'm dropping it so I can get all the details. But yeah, it's, it's coming February 11th, you know what I'm saying? Is it going to be out on all platforms? Or? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the surprise I'm talking about. I can't uh, speak on it, you know what I'm uh, saying? Uh, okay, so, <laughs> no, matter of fact, yeah, I can't speak on it. I can't speak on it, bro. I'll tell you all can though. I appreciate, I appreciate. <laughs> hey, is, is there like something that we should like, is there one song in particular that you, that everybody should be looking out for on that one? Man, one song. Man, right, right. So I, I've been dropping singles for this, from this project since like July of 2021. The song I'm pushing right now is called Show Me Song, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a strip club song, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the whole, you know, you know what I'm saying? What I've been on, you know what I'm saying? It's a strip club song for girls and dancers and kind of shit. I like that song. That's like the latest song that I've been released as a single. It's not a song called Whatever I Say Do, it's just like some, uh, Fuck the haters type song, you know what I'm saying? Turn up party two is a good blast vibe, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But them like the two songs I'm pushing right now for this season, you know what I'm saying? But I've been dropping single but since like July, so they all out there. Alright, babe. Man, you got anything else you want the people to know? Uh I want them to know I'm fucking with Texas Music Club, my boy Kuzo, you know what I'm saying? I always show love, you know what I'm saying? Tap in with my boy y'all out here, making it happen for all the motherfuckers in Texas, man. Get into it, man. That's all I got to say. <laughs>